Good morning, everyone. I'm Maria Garcia, and I'm Amy. Uh, the company we choose is Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, as in TSMC. I think many foreign students um, are unfamiliar with this company. However, it's by uh, famous and leading uh, in Taiwan. Uh, also, Professor uh, mentioned this company at least three times in this talk. So, um, we had a field trip to TSMC in Xinju um, on December 2nd. Um, the interview is Nancy from Learning and Development Division. And here's our online. Um, I'll do an introduction. Uh, since uh, many people still have no idea where semiconductor can be used. So, uh, I'll, let's see this video first. Is 
So even when they select employee, they will follow the COVID rule. So just you have um, introduced HR to us. So now I'm going to introduce you human resource department. Um, this is the structure of human resource department. First, we can see there are three subsidiary three uh, HR in other three subsidiary. The first one is in America, second one is in Japan, and third one is in Europe. Also, Western Tech. This is this is a factory which located in America. And for account services team, uh, which called AST, uh, due to TSMC focusing on customer services very much, so this team's function is to conduct good relationship with customers and also uh, no customers meeting well. For corporate programs, HR information system is a system which utilizes technology to reinforce the human resource department's performance. And uh, for HR service center, it's charge for recruiting and appointment, compensation benefits, learning development, and employee services. And uh, nowadays, uh, human resource departments have 400 HR personnel. And uh, this is HR's transformation. We can see that uh, nowadays, HR are focusing on design and carry out the solution first, and then it's planning and strategy. And that one is an administrative affair, so it's totally different from the original one. And this is the four roles which TSMC expect their human resource department to be. First one is service provider, second one is employee champion, third one is changing agent, and the last one is strategy partner. And uh, on the right side is the characteristic of the four roles. So let's talk for the key attributes for HR professionals. Mm -hmm. There are three key attributes. First one is accountability. Second one is intelligence. And the third one is curiosity. For accountability from this picture, we can see that ownership, responsibility, and meeting commitment composed of accountability. And for intelligence, it means people should have uh, ability to learn, ability to reason and think, ability to solve their problems, and also have the common sense. And for curiosity, uh, it's anxious to know plus increase And uh, this is TSMC HR policy. First one is recruiting, and then is training and development. Third one is deployment, and last one is retention. And we will introduce all these four parts to you in detail later on. Um, due to TSNC values, their employees very much so they provide impressive compensation and benefits to attract and return talent. For employee compensation, we can see that they have fixed pay and uh, it's combined a new package plus fixed two month year and bonus. They also have bonus program and profit sharing bonus. For bonus program, we can see it's based on profitability, employees contribution and performance against the corporate defined goals and for profit sharing bonus is offered for excellent employee and raising power only. And uh, from this picture we can see that TSNC provides various of employees benefits. Um, and this is the work environment which, which uh, TSNC have. Uh, for example, they have cafeteria, convenience store, gym sports center, also book store and on-site services. So we can see that TSMC care about their uh, employee satisfaction very much. So let's go for the part of recruiting. Uh, TSMC always choose the right people to be their employees. Uh, the right people means people who share the same vision and value with the company. And from the first picture, we can see that TSMC considering a uh, employee according to his or her qualifications for a position rather than age, nationality, or um, gender. And uh, from the second picture, we can see that TSMC recruit talent around the world. And every talent can find a fit in TSMC. Uh, for example, if you are in electrical engineering, you can find a position like design and large platform engineer or manufacturer supervisor. And uh, if you are in business or industrial management, you can also find a job like finance human resource department. So that, that's the process of recruiting. There are five steps. First one is headcount. Um, the company will 
uh, investment who are serving to invest in banks, how many people they need in each department. They will also do a job composition like letter uh, to see the proportion of their employees' education backgrounds, nationality, or gender. And uh, that is the sourcing and screening. If you are Taiwanese people, you can send your resume and find the job opportunities on TSMC's website or one of our human resource department. And uh, you, if you are overseas talent, TSMC also participate in high recruit, which is organized by Taiwanese government to uh, hire overseas technological talent. And TSMC also arrange many campus career fairs in the top schools in the United States, India, or other regions. After the HR screening the resume of each, uh, after HR screening the resume, they will choose the right, right people to handle the English test and culture based questionnaire. Uh, for CFQ, it consists of 200 questions and it drives people's uh, emotion, correlation, achievement, or motivation. And after you pass all, all these tests, you will have an interview. And after the interview, it's the overselling time. And after overselling, PSMC will use KPI to measure the award rate. They will consider it's a voucher if anyone uh, refuses the offer. So let's go for the training and the development part. Okay, thank you, Jesse. Well, that's a really good charge of training and development form. So first of all, I will be talking about the uh, happiness of learning in life. So, TSMC is chairman and founder of Mr. Morris Chen believes that in life, so as to be successful, an individual should have a goal, should have discipline, and also should have a plan. And uh, this is basically upon those three pillars that TSMC has developed its unique uh, training system. So basically, with the help of diversified training and development programs, TSMC has developed a unique uh, in-house uh, training system that helps employees to better themselves, to improve themselves, and to improve the organization as a whole. Uh, so now we'll be mentioning about the uh, 70 2010 uh, model. So basically, this is a model that is used by a lot of other organization and not just by TSMC. And uh, at TSMC, employees have to dedicate 70% of their time on work, 20% of their time on mentoring, and 10% of their time has to be dedicated to courses and foundations. Into uh, individual development plan. So when you are an employee at TSMC, whatever your position is, you will have a unique IDP that will be tailored with the help of a manager. Uh, this IDP will be designed according to your development needs. Um, the IDP will be based on an employee's individual work and experience, but also your job nature and uh, your school background. The IDP will help you as an employee to develop the necessary skills and uh, to set up goals for your future. On to structure and general training. So, as you basically work like this. When you are an employee at SMC, you receive a specific training that is related to your position. But you will also receive a general training. This mandatory general training is required by company policies, but also the uh, government, as you need to uh, take government regulated uh, courses, such as classes on sexual harassment so that employees can learn how to respond and how to face this kind of issue. Language training will also be provided uh, to you as an employee. So basically it consists of uh, language training classes like uh, discussion, grammar skills, and so on. Uh, courses on workplace and health and safety will also be provided as well. So as we can see on this uh, picture, TSMC offers quite a wide variety of uh, training, and I'm going to look out some of them. So how does TSMC uh, assimilate new recruits? So as a rookie at TSMC, you have to go first through learning and job orientation classrooms. Those courses will help you to 
Good family, uh, Mr. Corbell, you are the company you are working with. Uh, as a newcomer, the body system and uh, organized trip will also be provided to you as well. Those two elements uh, will help you to be familiar with your working environment. Uh, experience sharing will also be provided. Uh, this is about yeah, senior employees who will help the newcomers to answer their question and so on. And so by 2012, a total of 5,435 bodies were assigned to assist newcomers. Into management training. Uh, this has been established with the developed future leaders. Uh, TSMC has established a managing program, which is composed of three different training programs. The first one, LMP, is for first level managers and is about managing people. The second one, EMP, is designed for middle level managers and is about managing uh, managers. And the last one, SMP, is designed for senior level managers and is about managing <coughs> professional training. There is nothing much to say about it. It means that uh, every professional receives a training according to his skill. Let's say you are an engineer, you will receive trainings related to your profession, technical engineering courses. Or let's say you are in the finance department, you will receive a training on accounting, and so on. <coughs> Into GR training. This is provided for production line employees, and it basically helps them gain the necessary skills and knowledge so as to be more efficient at their task. So as we can see here, um, employees at TSMC are offered a wide variety of learning choices, either to improve themselves or to improve their career and thus be more efficient. So as you can see, they can learn through the uh, TSMC's digital library. They can make use of in-house training courses, seminars and speeches. They can also use the e-learning system. They receive, of course, on-job training, external training, coaching. They can make use of the internet facilities as well. Into numbers, as we can see by uh, 2012, TSMC's total training cost reached around 6, 6, 60 million uh, tons dollars. A total of uh, 780,000 training hours were provided, and 550,000 attendees went to those courses. In average, they attended 21 hours. And those are numbers, but I'm going to skip on them because otherwise we run out of time. And now to the report. Thank you. Yeah. And 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 so we can use the uh, the class the toilet. It includes diagnosis, job design, career development promotion, and our focus on PMB system. Finally, is uh, reverse and beneficial. Uh, organization diagnosis is a format and comprehensive uh, <coughs> understanding of opportunities and threats in the environment and the strengths and weaknesses in the uh, company. And the job content design is a set of tasks which is organized by, uh, by HR and it includes um, job rotation, enlargement, test, uh, machine pacing, work breaks and working hours. Um, and for the career development, TSMC uh, supports their employees uh, with best training available and development possible, and they encourage them to acquire new knowledge, <coughs> uh, technical expertise, and the uh, uh, diverse opportunity, opportunity include overseas assignment, project assignments, and job rotation. And when we visited TSMC, the representative of HR um, talked about job rotation to us, and uh, it is a method of, uh, for de career development and HR will do the research at first and choose uh, the right person to make lateral moves um, but uh, HR have the, have the right to intervene when an employee is, um, is uh, when an employee discuss with his or her co-worker uh, he or she can apply for 
transferred within uh, without 18 months, but usually um, this is rare in a normal situation. Uh, a child will do um, after 18 months. A child will do a uh, will make a evaluation for the uh, employees, and this is the features of the procedure. Uh, first one is reducing the anomaly of drop, and they will overcome uh, potential problem and uh, drop this discussion. And the second is that drop it, put the right person um, to the right place and wider range of work experience. Uh, experience. The fourth is the connection of division, uh, different divisions. It may know how work is accomplished with other departments and job or job function. And the last one is succession planning. It is prepared for uh, promotion. And for the promotion, this is uh, TSMC's job rate from 31 to 39. It is not easy to be promoted in TSMC. We can see that from 31 to 32, it is at least three years. And the promotion, and the promotion is random, and it depends on employees' vision and their past track record. And for the higher level position, uh, yes, uh, each one will set up a promotion review committee to by three or four supervisors and managers, and they will, uh, they will make, they will make the. Uh, promotion conditions together and choose the right person. And it is aimed to avoid uh, the personal relationship of the, uh, avoid personal relationship to get the job. And this uh, next part is performance and performance management and development is the most uh, important part because every company sets up their own performance management and some of them will com uh, combine with the development like TSMC, but how TSMC can uh, can be considered as the benchmark in the industry, let's see, this is the difference between the formal type and the new type in TSMC. We can see yeah, previously it's a salary tool, but now it's uh, man considered as a management tool. I think that once a year before, now it's frequently. Evaluator is just a uh, one just uh, is only supervisor in people and not all around as one standard for all the all uh, employees before and now is based on the job function and they focus past performance before and now is future development and the method is just uh, assessment but now they adding planning and guiding and also assessment this is TS, uh, PMD's five principles and PMD in TSMC aims to develop employees' uh, maximum maximum uh, potential. It provides uh, an environment for employees' development on ongoing engagement and communication. And also, it um, approach the manage, uh, performance manage, management along the dimensions of strategy, integration, and development. Now, I will briefly introduce the five principles. The first one is partnership and co cooperation between supervisors and employees. Um, in TSMC, supervisors have to uh, provide a necessary guidance and create a good working environment so the uh, employees uh, can fully in order to do their jobs. And if uh, the supervisor is underperforming, he or she will be transferred to a long, long management. Uh, position and the second one is personal accountability for individual performance. Um, both uh, supervisors and employees are expected to be self-responsible when one of them uh, cannot reach their task. The other one uh, gave uh, to give feedback and immediate uh, immediate alert and any one of them cannot be reached the task. Uh, both of them are are responsible for one who cannot um, fulfill their obligation uh, will get the primary responsible. And the next one is ongoing engagement and communication. Supervisors and employees um, need to continuous cross uh, communication for the whole year. They will set their future goal together uh, at the beginning of the year and develop 
um, the action plan, and yeah, and they will have a conclusion um, of their performance in this evaluation. And this uh, and now it is a regular review, usually three months, uh, three months, usually uh, three months. And for the formal interview, it is twice a year. And for the first one, they will put uh, they will focus on the key performance of past six year. And if they are not performing, uh, their performance is not good. They have uh, they remain six year uh, six six months to ratify and also they will focus on the future target learning and development. It is about forty five minutes to an hour to an hour. And for the second one, um, for the second interview, um, employees performance has been <coughs> has confirmed. So they just use a uh, ten or fifteen minutes to of uh, communication for the annual performance appraisal. And the next is equally important even to performance appraisal and development. And in TSMC, everyone has to keep learning and development. Uh, they have to aware of their weaknesses and their strengths, and also use the latest uh, knowledge and technology to make improvement. And also, uh, at the same time, they have to focus on the most critical and valuable part of the company's work. And the last one is performance differentiation. In TSMC, the uh, HR will focus on the 10% outstanding and 5% big least improvement employees, and they will pay special attention to their development plans and salary. For the good performance, they um, invest most in need of uh, resources to them because it is a great loss if, if they leave uh, the company. And for the poor uh, performance, they also uh, devote they also devoted uh, resources to assist and care. And this is the uh, PM cycle from February to August. It's, it is uh, daily management. And in September, actually, we take the organization goal of next year. And auto, uh, October to November, it is performance development planning. And December is evaluation and the second interview. And generally, is reward and recognition. And the recognition program include the innovation award, employee board, model awards. This, this um, the first four are uh, their inside awards, and also TSMC encourage their employees to achieve the external awards. Thank you, Judy. Okay, so I'm going to talk about retention. So the first talk is the communication channel. So basically, it's really simple. Uh, from the high level to low level, to uh, keep a constant uh, communication without the formation of any stuff, they use video. So everyone has the same video and the same message. So they can quite get it. And from the low level to high level, there is uh, some way of communication on sexual harassment as we well to report. So there is conferences and they tell you uh, how to react, uh, who uh, to tell. Also you have suggestion box for any new idea for the company. And you have a phone number, 168. It's internal to the company and they can just call if they have any problem or anything. It's just uh, specific to the company. So then, the employee program, uh, the employee assistant program, is uh, basically a program to make uh, the TMC, TSMC staff physically and psychologically healthy. Because TSMC really care about the staff. So uh, basically, how does it work? It's uh, there is a health center in the company, and uh, employees are free to go on their time work and. Uh, it's in the limitation of five times a year. So they can go uh, to see a specialist for psychological problem or to see a doctor for physical problem. And it can also be extended to the family. If the daughter of an employee has a problem, she can, she can just go. So and until uh, the limitation of five times a year. And there is also an employee workforce committee to make sure that 
simply or really a bit both psychologically and physically. So uh, what kind of problem can be solved there about the psychological problem? There is a relationship problem, a family problem, marriage problem, but moreover there is also a professional problem and a legal and financial problem since 2012. And there is also, uh, for, for the group, there is also uh, speakers that come to TSMC. And there is also an uh, online platform to make you willing to use the tool more often. So which conclusion for this service? So basically, as in the recent chairs, uh, we can see that uh, the demand is growing for this kind of service in the TSMC company. Uh, we can uh, conclude that the MCMC just created uh, an atmosphere where it's uh, where employees are willing to ask questions and to uh, ask when they need something. So it just uh, makes the company healthier and healthier. And employees can have a lengthy career in the SMC just because they feel uh, better so they want to stay in the company. And uh, about retention, we can see that the result of this kind of program is just like uh, three basic numbers. Like in Taiwan industry, the turnover rate is 20%, which is quite important. And to have a HP company, you need to have your turnover rate between 5 to 10%. And we can see that TSMC is even better than the expectation of a HP company. It's for the 2% last year, and this year it's going to be uh, below 4%. Also, there is uh, facilitation. So there is a uh, family day and sport day. So you can bring your family to the company and you can build a strong relationship with your colleagues and everything. So uh, the teamwork will uh, be more efficient as you trust more your colleagues. And I'm going to talk about cross-cultural problems. So as TSMC is a big company and they hire international talents, so obviously they have a problem. And uh, the solution is about caring. So they create a caring program. And uh, it's more, it's more uh, visible with an example. So I'm going to talk about the IITN program, uh, IITN caring program, which is uh, about uh, Indian Institute of Technology. Because uh, the SMC hire more and more uh, Indian people from the Indian Institute of Technology because they have a partnership with them. And so uh, they will help them since the recruitment uh, by providing them uh, all the all the time necessary to work uh, overseas in Taiwan, doing all the administration stuff. And they will also provide them cross-cultural training and language training so they can be adapted to Taiwan way of working. And they will also uh, provide to their colleagues and supervisors uh, about uh, communication training so they can uh, understand more uh, the Indian people and work better with them. And they also created the UG program, which is a program that uh, takes care of the daily needs of Indian people. So, uh, for example, they will, they will take care about housing. Like two, three years ago, there were like 80 Indian people coming in TSMC. So they just provided housing, field trip in Taiwan to discover. They also provide them Indian food at the canteen. And also they created a new building only for Indian people. So they can uh, work together and feel more comfortable in the teamwork. So basically, we can resume it in one word, carry. TSMC solution to all problem is carry. Because when your employees feel like you care, they will feel uh, comfortable in your company, and they will want to stay longer and have a lengthy career in your company. OK. Thank you, uh, Brentin. Brentin. Now uh, I'll walk uh, you guys uh, through the conclusion part. <coughs>
Secretary was making a SWOT analysis of the Human Resource Department of TSMC. Let us first uh, look at its trends. Uh, we all know that TSMC has a huge company's appeal and the search is able to attract the best local talent out there. Its employee assistance program has already explained by Valentine is a much proven success. The individual development plan was also a success as proven uh, as explained by Gregor. And then the 70-20-10 policy has been a success and implemented by many companies. And then it's the AST one displayed by Jesse. And then the PMT, which is also a proven success story. However, it has several weakness. In 2009, there was a layoff fallout which damaged its reputation. Uh, TSMC has an unhealthy turnover rate and it has a low number of expatriate workers. Its salary is not the highest, but it's always above 70%. Uh, and it's just a problem of over time. Look at its opportunities. What we are proposing is uh, that TSMC can form strategic alliances with international placement companies and reputable universities so as to attract the best talents out there. They can implement policy that make TSMC the industry leader in the human resource model. And the third one is they can reduce HR policy regions to allow for different HR policy in different countries instead of following just a central human resource policy. And for the fourth part is that uh, the risk of PMD ratings being misused by lower level of managers can be uh, can be prevented. These are his threats. The computers offer higher salaries such as income and sanction, and then there's a strong competition for best talents out there. Uh, and there's also a misuse of performance management development by its lower level managers, and its HR model can easily be duplicated. This is the SWOT analysis at, you know, at a glance. And now for recommendations. In 2009, uh, TSMC initiated the solve of the features program. Basically, what happened was that one of the employees were laid off. There were accusations that uh, they received poor performance management development ratings on a of these decades, such as maternity leave. And there were also accusations that employees were forced to sign voluntary resignation agreement. Otherwise, they would not get a good performance review. As such, they would not be able to get a next job. And also, there were accusations that actual number of people laid off were suppressed. All of this uh, damages TSMC reputation. But how did TSMC respond? Let us look at it. TSMC promoted what was a PR disaster into our PR success. Basically, what they did was that after there was an improvement in their business operation, they instantly asked the layoff employees to return. They rehired several hundred layoff employees after they were new recurring in that very same year. They were not further layoff for that year. And uh, Dr. Morris Chang, the chairman of the TSMC, promised a review of performance management development to prevent misuse by the lower level managers again. But we all know that layoff sometimes is inevitable. So, how can we, uh, what can we do to prevent such an occasion happening again? This is what we propose. Basically, one word flex leave. Flex leave is developed by essential personnel firm. Basically, what happens is that when you lay off an employee, you allow the employee to go and work for other companies, and you still have a of 30% of the salary. This benefit is over a, a period of six to twelve months, and he retains his bonus options. The only problem, um, the only exception is that he cannot work for competitors. This is basically a unique layoff proposal. Now the problem of overtime working. Uh, one standard, the chairman of ESMC, principal one states that there should be a consensus between superiors and employees before workers are made to work overtime. Uh, people who work overtime should be eligible for overtime pay or off days. However, Morris Chan also states that TSMC do not oppose employees working for overtime voluntarily. Let us look at the actual situation. The actual situation is that TSMC employees overtime work is a common occurrence. For TSMC, it's hard to achieve a target of 50 hours per week, and uh, there's a lack of belief on TSMC linking worse with actions. As such, even for Morris Jam promised to change the current predicament regarding overtime work, it's not much paid among TSMC employees that uh, any improvement can be made. But we all know that overtime cannot be fully eliminated. But what can we do to reduce the problem for overtime? This is what we propose. First of all, that's our organization diagnosis. What we're proposing is that a personal, a PMD personnel sit down with the superiors and employees to reassess the job content and the job process. So as to ensure that on no occasion is an employee made to do uh, have received a work capacity beyond its capabilities. And for the second part, we are uh, advocating for the use of proactive scheduling. Uh, what this means is that we maintain electronic timekeeping and scheduling to ensure that work is spread over the entire employees fairly and equally. And for strategy over time, what this basically entails is that uh, for any overtime work you take, you are uh, eligible for some time off. However, there is a limitation to this is that the maximum hours that can be accumulated is 7 hours. 
And the most important part is that over time should be always used for the last resort and only used when absolutely needed in case there is a certain increase in business operation and should not be used normally. How do you find an employee? If this employee that is not needed maybe tomorrow's most coveted employee, then it's also good for TSMC to maintain a healthy, good reputation in order to attract future talents. This is what we do. First of all, uh, maintain records of all the PMD ratings, of all the job evaluation ratings, so that you can justify the firing. The second part is that maybe you should consider a severance package. And the third part is that when you form the employees of this decision, always choose somewhere private and offer to help the employee in any way possible and always make it professional or make it personal. Performance management development. This is the job evaluation used by TSMC. For the 5% improvement in your category, these employees are placed under position when you fall under that category. What is the impact? This is what happened for uh, people who are placed under promotion in TSMC. TSMC employees, as a rule, is very proud of working in TSMC. But once they are placed under promotion, uh, there's a loss of pride. And we most choose to resign by themselves. As TSMC employees who are placed under promotion and fall under the improvement leader promotion category are still highly coveted employees by its competitors. As such, they choose to resign and search other work opportunities. The reason for self resignation is that if you knock out, they are really hanging onto their job and their weakness is exposed to everyone and there's a confidence meltdown. This is the revised PMD system that we propose. First of all, when the PMD ratings come out, it should be a uh, secrecy. It should be between the supervisor and the employees only and it should not be made perfect knowledge. The criticism should be constructive and never personal. A support structure should be set up for improvement for helping the employee get back to the required level. And once the employee show any signs of improvement, there should be an instant removal or probation. Only then can the employee have a new beginning. Basically, we can sum up TSMC human resource policy in this one page. TSMC human resource department aspire to be a trusted personnel to employees because they believe that employees are the most important customer of the company and the most valuable asset. Basically, what this means is that you try to become the best strategy partner out there, uh, change agent, administrative expert, and an employee champion. So this is a reference where we have a lot of information. And guys, thank you for your attention. Uh, please feel free to ask any questions that you may have. Good, thank you. Any question? That's my question to you. I think there's a very good company, uh, which had a very good idea. However, we should ask the question, why? Why? Why they sure uh, Managing their uh, talent uh, to compete in global market. Yeah, how? Right? How? How they? Uh, how do they uh, manage their uh, talent? Um, manager talent, engineer talent, uh, R and D professional uh, to help them to uh, compete in global market. How? Because. Uh, this uh, semiconductor industry, right? And all their customer is the world class customer, world class customer. So they need to provide this uh, excellent product, uh, especially in terms of the quality, the quality, and also the up the update, you no, know, the update uh, product, right? Uh, which the customer uh, ask, right? Ask, for example. For uh, today, for the Apple, right? Uh, more and more uh, uh, tele the commu communication uh, uh, de design right? need to be uh, uh, set up in their chip, right? In their chip, so uh, they need to meet this uh, uh, update and upgrade function, right? Function of their product to. Uh, Satisfy their customer. So TSNG need to uh, uh, build uh, their advantage in terms of uh, technology, right? Technology and in terms of their manufacturing uh, quality. Uh, so in this situation, they need to uh, hire hire the the most uh, uh, the most uh, competent, you know, 
the most competent uh, uh, engineer, uh, engineer in this field, right? In this area, in this uh, uh, semiconductor area. So, uh, who can work in TSNC? As still uh, map, right? Has show that uh, somebody, right? Uh, who uh, really uh, are proud of uh, uh, their uh, uh, working, their working capability, right? They they very very uh, uh, smart, uh, competence, right? Uh, who can work in TSNC? Okay. So TSNC, uh, the manufacturing, uh, the quality rate is the ninety nine and seventy five percent, right? So this is uh, a very good, uh, very good uh, quality uh, rate in this uh, semiconductor uh, uh, production. So engineer is very important. So they only hire hire the uh, engineer from the top five, the top five top five science science university in Taiwan, uh, Taida, Tsinghua, Jiaotong. Chenda, right? Uh, Taichung Qingjiao, right? Taichung Qingjiao, and the other is the Taikeda, right? Yeah, only five. Not even, not even Chinese University. <laughs> not, because our, sorry, our sign, our sign is not the top five, but our main school is the top three, right? Top three, even the top two. So, yeah. However, they will recruit their many, 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 uh, many, many employees, right? The, the major t uh, talent, right? Many, many career candidate, right? From Shenzhen, Shenzhen, from uh, uh, Taiwan University, Shenzhen University, okay? So uh, they need to uh, recruit and hire the most uh, uh, capable. The, the, Talent, right? Work for them to serve the global, the global customer, the world class customer. Okay, so especially in terms of innovation, right? Innovation, they need to uh, acquire the upgrade, uh, upgrade, even the top technology, top technology in terms of this uh, semiconductor uh, field. So they need to hire the these. Uh, uh, R&D professional, not only in Taiwan but also in uh, USA, yeah, UC uh, uh, Berkeley, right, and Stanford, right, MIT, right, and uh, some from India, right, or in the ITT. Yeah, so they need to uh, recruit all the uh, very top top talent. What for them? What for them? So in this situation, the HR practice is very important, right? How to recruit them, how to uh, develop them, right? And how to uh, uh, motivate, motivate uh, their uh, all the, their uh, working talent. Right? So as the, they show you that, right? Uh, how can and how can uh, HR practice provide a service to them? Provide service to them, and HR uh, need to be uh, the strategic partner of the executive team, and also uh, HR need to uh, be a uh, champion, right? Champion uh, to uh, to ask many good uh, well-beings for their employee. Okay. However, there are some uh, difficulty happen. For uh, to then in China, in China, because uh, the China engineer, uh, they are working attitude, not uh, like Ch Taiwan, not, and and also in China, uh, the engineer, the engineer, they don't have this uh, innovative thinking, you know. TSNC need to uh, develop a kind of uh, working uh, 
a working atmosphere, right? Today they are employee, they are engineer, had innovative thinking, right? It, they ask you to uh, to have some uh, uh, critical thinking, right? And also you can uh, think proactive, uh, more proactively, yeah, to meet the customer need, to learn the upgrade, the upgrade and update their knowledge, right? So the employees, so innovative thinking is very important in TSNC. However, uh, China engineer, uh, they uh, like the highest compensation. Yes, they can provide. However, they cannot have this kind of innovative uh, thinking uh, performers in in China. So many uh, engineer. Uh, we, I I don't like to say how much, but I know at least uh, every month ten percent, at least ten percent engineer will will do. You know, every month think about it. So it's not easy to uh, develop uh, an engineer uh, who just work for you, right? One or two years, okay. And even there's some uh, experienced uh, engineer. Uh, they will be acquired by other company, right? And got the, the higher <laughs> set of compensation, okay? And also because the some limitation, right? Some transfer transfer limitation between Taiwan and China uh, because of the political uh, political issue. So uh, they can only uh, transfer uh, their engineer to Hong Kong to have some uh, training program in Hong Kong or in Singapore. Right? I cannot uh, encourage too many China talent to come to Taiwan. You know, this is very important. If they can come to Taiwan, they don't know, oh, what's, what's the value of TSNC? Right? To see, to, to believe. Right? When you see something, yeah, oh, then you got this uh, belief. Right. It will help you to uh, develop a more uh, appropriate uh, working value right. and to know how to uh, uh, cooperate with your headquarters. Right. This is a very important IHM practice. Right. How to let the, all your employees who work in a worldwide op, uh, subsidiary right, can have the same value. The same value. Right. This is very important. But uh, I know because I have visited them, yeah, the China subsidiary. Yeah, really not. The China subsidiary CEO is my student, yeah, our EMBA student. You know? So really some uh, difficulty for them to manage the, the China, the China uh, talent. Okay, I just uh, provide you uh, some uh, I uh, information of the TSMC. Okay, so about a 10 minute short break and then the second group uh, set up your PPT, okay?